had it with you, Skeletor. I am leaving and taking the gate maker where it and I would be appreciated to Hordak. You can't do this to me. I'll get you for this. Welcome back to Retro Wednesday at the Tidy Hanger. This is Mike. Today I want to talk to you about the vintage Modulock figure. This is a really cool figure overall, and it's a different kind of figure, not like any other figure in the entire line. Well, except Multibot, which is almost the same thing, but this is pretty cool. Now, I am going to talk about this. I'm going to talk about the differences I expect to see when they make one for Origins, or if they make one for Origins, and so we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the box art and all that kind of stuff, and then I'm going to show you kind of a breakdown of every part and how it goes together and some different combinations. We'll talk about this, have a little bit of Motu fun on Retro Wednesday here at Tidarium Hanger. Coming up. Starting off looking at the box art, we do have kind of a vintage box here. And if they make it in Origins, I bet you it'll be a window box. Now I'm kind of torn between the fact whether or not it should be closed or a window because I kind of want everything to mirror the vintage. But some of the open window kind of you can see through the window and see the product is better than the vintage. But then again, I kind of like to mirror the vintage. So I'm torn. I'm kind of curious what other people think, but I'm actually okay either way. If it's a, if it's a window and it was closed before it's kind of fun to see the product now but if they closed it off and it was already closed before that's fine so anyway uh looking at the back of this uh packaging you do get to see the breakdown of every part so kind of a part list on the back and then you get to see some different kinds of things you can do with it so so pretty cool overall and it, it does the job as the packaging okay so generally when you look at this figure this is the standard set up the standard way you want to set this guy up and i think when you do it like this you have like one extra part on it or something so so like uh this setup in if i'm right you have an extra connector included now, it's kind of cool that they included plenty of these connector pieces and all of that kind of stuff so i, I do like that overall but this is interesting like i'd like to have every piece included maybe i'm wrong with that but anyway looking at him he does come with two different heads he comes with three sets of legs and two sets of arms and all of that kind of stuff. So that really is pretty cool overall. Like back here he has a, a tail and I, I kind of call that a tail, but I know it's not. And so the thing is, if you get multiples of these, you can connect it and go as long as you want or as far as you want. So there is as well the limits, your imagination, your time, your effort, and your budget. But uh, with that, I think that the way it comes out of the box, there's plenty of stuff, like more than you would really need anyway. But of course, I've got more parts, so we'll get into that too. Here's his weapon, and his weapon is pretty cool. It does break into two different parts. There's some holes and some tabs, and you can have it in two different... Uh, he can wield it in different hands, however he wants, or you can put it together for one big gun. So I think that was really cool. Just the weapon alone is a pretty cool idea and kind of fun how they did it. And uh, they did share that, although it's completely different. It's like a different gun, a different mold. They did share that with the multibot. We'll show that here in a little bit. No, well, not the gun, but the multibot. So here it is broken down in all of the basic parts. And so with that, you could do so much with this. It's kind of where your imagination is. Now, I want to say with each knee, if we went Origins, we would have some sort of movement in it. But I think that the connector would be different. So it would be like a plug-in versus pop-on. I wish they would kind of copy the original so that you can integrate your original vintage with it if they make one for the uh, Origins line. So this little piece here is kind of interesting because it, it does give you the tail. It connects the abdomen to the, to the torso and all that kind of stuff. So with this, you can do so much. Let's start by just basically putting two legs together. And then we're going to put a torso on. And then we're going to put a head on. And then we're going to put an arm on. And we've got just a basic figure. So here we are with just a basic figure. And that looks pretty good. That'll get the job done. Uh, standing wise, can you stand him very well? Uh, yeah, he can stand okay on his own. So that works okay. So you can do that. You can also integrate all these parts with multi-bot parts. Now I did get a couple of multi-bot parts. I got a couple of torsos and a couple of legs and arms and stuff. So I was able to integrate all that to make sort of something like this with some extra parts that I had laying around doing the same thing. So that's pretty cool. If you don't know about multi-bot, well, I don't know much about it. There's a tail, I forgot to put that in there. I think I want an extra one of these. So with that, we can start building this guy into the, you know, the standard one. And so how we would do that is, so each one of these would need to 
Uh, let's go ahead and do the bottom first. So we're going to connect this, which is like another continuation piece. Then we have the double right here. And then we would get to this tail end, plug it on. Then we plug the actual tail on. And let's go this direction this time. And then we can start adding on some legs. So we've got this side's leg over here. And then this side's leg over here. And then we have this leg. So we could take this leg and just aim it backwards. Let's try to do that. Will that work? Will that work? Yeah, that works. So we, we put it actually on the reverse side. And plug that on. And there we go with him kind of standing there. Now you got to say, okay, so how are we going to get the multiple double heads? So the way we're going to do that, we're going to pop this off. We're going to put... Let's just put this on for the neck. On one side you have some color, on the other one you don't. I don't know if, maybe some have no paint on them and some do, I don't know. So we're gonna double this up, double this up. This, and it's nice and tight and it needs to be tight so it holds well. So it seems like you're doing a lot of work there. So now we're into this. So pop this arm off, pop this arm off. And then we can place this on here, place this on here. And then piece these arms on. And you see this, it's a bit of a struggle to get these on. Like, I'm kind of wondering how kids did it. Like, kids have to, I have to put some force on it. Kids might have to be putting some serious force on it. Like, do they have that much upper body strength and hand strength and all that when you're like five? I don't know. So, so here he is, kind of the way I did the back legs. Maybe I should swap them around because the middle ones really aren't touching so well. But you get the gist of it and it looks pretty good. And I do think when you put it together, you'll have an extra one. They give you an extra one just in case you lost one, but there he is. Now we're gonna come back and look at something else. So I do wanna talk about this kind of creativity that you have that you can do with this and you can integrate multi-bot with it and you can do whatever you think of. So this is just some crazy nonsense I have with mine. I, am, I realize that there are certain pieces that you need that you need to acquire extra of if you wanna really make it connect and do like a centipede kind of thing. I would like to have like a long old centipede version, but that would be pretty cool too. I just realized that there is another kind of, I don't wanna call it a flaw, but something that would've been really nice is that there's a, it's very limited in the number of hands that can hold the gun. So uh, for some reason I didn't notice that at first, but now I'm starting to notice that. So. Not a big deal, not the end of the world, but the gun splits into two, it should easily be held in both hands, and it's like this other hand here, it doesn't want to hold very well. So there, there's some issues to it. It's not perfect, so I kind of hope that they think that and take that into account when they do an Origins one, if and when they do an Origins one. But it's still kind of a fun figure. The Vintage one, uh, we'll get into cost here in just a little bit, but yeah, uh, oddly enough, as much creativity as there is with this, I don't like doing this. I want to put everything back and make it look like normal, so that's what I'm gonna do now. Now for comparison, I'm going to put him next to a vintage He-Man figure. And so the thing about this is that the He-Man, average He-Man figure stands taller than him. He does have an extra squatty pose and he's a little bit shorter, but he comes with a whole bunch more components with that. That's pretty cool. And I can see why it's kind of is smaller and all that because of the parts count. And if you did a lot of stuff with him, I bet you could make him a real tall one too. I'm sure there's a way somehow if you had enough parts and enough, enough pieces. So that's also something else to think about. So anyway, I just figured I'd kind of show the size difference. He is a bit shorter. So the next thing I want to talk about is this Modulock, and this is the Super 7 version. So I don't know if maybe there's a different version that has all of the same components and stuff as the original that Mattel did, or so I mean, do maybe some more research on that. But I got this because it was 50 bucks, and I figured they'll eventually sell out. And I thought about getting a second one for like compatibility and plug it and do stuff with this. I don't think this operates the same way. I might be wrong on that. So I haven't opened it yet. I haven't gotten around to opening it. I just got it because before they sell out, I want to get a good deal on it. Watch well, it go on clearance, and I'm like, oh, I wasted 50 bucks. But so this was 50 bucks, and then I got this figure for a little, pretty much just like this for under 30. And I think a completely complete one. So I've got a couple other part slots for like 10 bucks here and 15 bucks there just for fun. And I've been kind of piecing together for a while. But I don't see us getting this for less than 50 from Mattel. Like you would get it from Mattel for 29 and nine or something like that or a deluxe, uh, a deluxe for 24. I would be shocked, but I would be very pleased. If we could get all of this for a deluxe of 20, 23, 21, whatever their deluxes are, I would be extremely happy with that. And, and buying a couple. This is one that they would sell multiples of. So 
same thing with Multibot. I think they should come out with the Multibot. And I would like it all to be compatible with the Vintage, but, you know, that's a pipe dream. All right, so what do I think about this Modulock? I think it is a really cool figure. I really am impressed with it. It's one of those I didn't know from when I was a kid that it even existed, and I'm glad that I found out about it, and I'm glad that they're still pretty easy and cheap to get. It's not like it's super expensive. I know a lot of people try to charge 50 bucks for a complete one on eBay or whatever, but I, I think it's more fun to get a couple of part slots and piece together a complete one, even though it maybe cost you 60 in the end instead of 50. You have a whole slew and ton of like extra parts for like 10 bucks more if you buy a few part slots and kind of piece it together. So I think that's the way to go. But anyway, uh, let me know what you think about this. Do you have a Modulock? Do you want to see him in the Origins line? Do you want to see him in Masterverse? Which I, I don't know if it'd be worth it in Masterverse. But uh, let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Happy Retro Wednesday to you. Have your hanger out. from Eternia, Great Hordak, where I once worked for someone who used to be in your service. Skeletor. I dislike Skeletor too, oh Great Hordak, which is why I have come here to join your army, and I have brought with me a gift with intention which will create an opening between here and Eternia. Skeletor! I hate that bone-faced bog waddler. If I ever get my hands on him, I'll... I'll... Oh, no!